How do you feel as a Hispanic woman running as a Republican? I think that it's really, really sad how we've blatantly seen the leftist media, I think, attack Hispanic candidates. You know, it wasn't just myself. It was Myra Flores. It's Catalina Lauf. It's many conservative Hispanics. They automatically will try to, especially as women, they try to say that we're crazy, which, you know, ironically enough, the left likes to promote women's rights, right? Or they like to say that they're the face of women's rights. And yet the first thing that they'll do is try to mentally attack us, make comments on our physicalities, um, whether it's trying to discredit our platforms, you know, the most upsetting thing as a Hispanic candidate running for office is the fact that I have blatantly witnessed this stigma and this stereotype of what it means to be Hispanic by the left. I've posted many of these um, articles on my social media, my Instagram account, where they've actually talked about what it means to be Hispanic in regards to your skin color. And frankly, what that reminds me of is really the brown paper bag test that was used during segregation here in the United States, where they would basically hold up a brown paper bag and see if someone from the black community was considered passing. And that's really what they're trying to do with the Hispanic community. If you are not brown enough, you are not Hispanic enough. And I think that that is a very toxic, um, not good trait for the left to be pushing. It's frankly rooted in, I believe, racism. But, you know, as a whole, I will continue to advocate and talk about border security because people forget that we have one of the biggest human rights abuses happening at our border every single day. And they, instead of making this a humanitarian issue, they're making this a partisan one. And as Hispanic women especially, we need to be advocating and speaking out against this.